Good afternoon, travel professionals, and welcome to today's Jack's Facts training session. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today. As always, we do appreciate it. My name is Doug Cook. I'm the publisher of Jack's Facts Travel Marketing. I will be today's moderator. And today I'm joined by Jimmy Stravopoulos from Agencia, Agencia Global. Uh, Jimmy is going to be giving us an overview of their Air Consolidator booking system. And we're also joined by Hadid from Cope Airlines, who will be our first presenter. And he will be giving you an overview of Copa Airlines. Uh, just a couple housekeeping items. Um, this webinar is being recorded, so please sit back and enjoy the webinar. We will be sending you a copy of it. Also, there will be time for a Q&A after the presentation, so please do access those in the space provided. Um, lastly, Cope Airlines has been generous enough to offer one of the attendees today a round-trip ticket on Copa. Um, one of the conditions of that is that you do stay engaged throughout the webinar, so please stay with us. And Jimmy will be giving you another one or two um, criteria to be in the running for that great prize. And that is everything from me. Let me turn this over to Hadid. Hadid, it's all yours. Thank you, Doc, for the nice introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Hadid Gonzalez. I'm sales executive for Copper Alliance in Canada and the United States. And it will be my pleasure this afternoon to present uh, the company Copper Alliance to you. It will be a product presentation, a quick one, but uh, with the most important facts that you need to know. So in the agenda today, we have, uh, we'll talk about the vision of the company so you get familiarized with who we are. Uh, we will give you also some business overview of Copper Alliance, the network that we serve, our product and awards, some important news that you need to know about Copper Alliance. And at the end, we will remind some important facts that you need to remember and which will be very important for you to know. So in terms of the vision of the company, you know that Copa Airlines is the national airline from Panama. We are a Panama-based carrier, and our objective, our vision, is to be the leading airline in Latin American aviation and the preferred connection through Panama City, joining the main cities of North, South, Central America, and the Caribbean. Of course, this vision is hand in hand with the business model of Copper Line, which is the connectivity, and also with the geographical location of Panama City that is located centrally in the Americas. In terms of the business overview, there are very uh, important pillars or four fundamental strengths that we would like to share with you. First, we are very blessed because of the, geogra ge ge sorry, the geographical location that we have. We are centrally located in the Americas, joining Central America the Caribbean, North America, and South America. We are like a bridge, you know, like the Panama, Panama, the Panama Canal that has been a bridge for centuries. We are a bridge for crossing the skies in the Americas. Also, very important, the markets that we serve, 80% of those markets are underserved and they need a hub. And that's a very important thing for us. We serve underserved markets that need a hub and Panama is a leading hub in Latin America. We also have the right infrastructure. We have a very modern airport that has been also uh, remodeled. Now we're about to open the terminal number two. The installations there, the facilities are very modern. It's not a huge airport. It's easy to transit by. And also another important pillar of our strengths of Copper Lines is that we're a world-class product. In 2020, we won the Decade of Airline Excellence Awards. And this is very important, and this speaks very loud of the service that we provide to our customers. Our network, today we serve more than 65 cities in Latin America, North America, the Caribbean, and South America, in 29 countries in general. As I mentioned before, we have the largest network in Latin America, several more international destinations than any other carrier of the region. And Panama as well is centrally located to connect flights in the region as well. We constantly seek for improvement of the network, and that is why we have recently opened three important destinations. Two of them are Colombian cities. Armenia opened operations on December 2nd, 2021, with three frequencies per week, and Cucuta opened operations in December 6, 2021, with three frequencies per week as well. 
Most recently, last week, we just opened Atlanta. This is the first time that we fly from Atlanta to Panama City directly, four frequencies per week. And this is a very important and very good news for this market. We say that we have a world-class product, but why? Well, today we have 75 aircraft. Many people, you know, don't really know Copra Alliance, but we are not a small company. We are a medium-sized company having 75 aircraft. And all of them are Boeing. We have some Boeing 737. We have Boeing uh, new generation 737-800. And we have the Boeing Max. The six vary from 154 to 160. And all of them include 16 business class seats. Also, we say that we are a full service carrier. Why we are a full service carrier? Well, in the case of the business class, we have a special checking lines and all the airports and a special checking counters. We have boarding gates and priority baggage handling. Of course, these 66 are more comfortable. They have privacy and maximum comfort. And for international flights, our meal service includes gray wines. Also, if you buy a, a business class seat, you have access to all Copa Club VIP lounges, as well as Star Alliance VIP lounges all over the world. For the economy class, we have complimentary uh, food also, as well, depending on the flight duration and, and the time. We also have a complimentary baggage, a complimentary uh, carry-on. And the only important thing here to remember is that if you buy a, a basic economy class, you don't have any luggage included, but you can buy this with a supplement. Also, entertainment is included in all of our aircraft. And in some of them, we have what we call the Copa Show Pass. That is an intranet, then you can uh, download your own movies, with your personal electronic devices. We also have uh, the new MAX uh, Boeing. This uh, is the newest aircraft that we have in the fleet. In the business class, the important feature about this is that we have 16 uh, live flat seats, okay, and the length is 78 inches. We also have monitors of 16 inches. We have one USB uh, port and one AC per passenger. We also have, in the case of the new Max, we have 24 six in economy extra. You have extra leg rooms. You have monitors of 10 inches. You, want, you have also one USB port per passenger and two AC per triple six. And in the case of the uh, economy class, you have 124 seats and you have one uh, USB port per seat. And you also have uh, the possibility to have your personal electronic devices, a holder for this. For the onboard products, we have the, for the business class, we have the headphones with a graded look, feel and sound. We have pillow and blankets, uh, larger pillows and blankets with upgraded fabrics. We have an amenity kit that includes uh, mouthwash, upgraded eye, eye shade and socks. And the lavatories are stuck with the facial mist and hand lotion. Also, in the case of the economy, the, the not economy extra because you have the monitors, but in the case of the economy class, you have what we call the Copa Show Pass that you can uh, download the content from this uh, intranet that we offer that we offer on the aircraft. Uh, I talked at the beginning about the expansion of the uh, Document International Airport. This is terminal number two. Uh, this is, will be very sophisticated and very, very nice. Actually, uh, currently we're already operating five gigs at the new terminal. Uh, this has made it possible for, for us to improve passenger connectivity between the terminals. Uh, also, it provides improved baggage handling system to fully integrate the terminals. Uh, we expect 9 million additional passengers with a maximum capacity of up to 23 million. Of course, this has been affected by the pandemic, as we all know, but uh, when we fully recover, this will be the capacity of the new terminal and the airport in general. The construction complete completion should be expected for the first quarter of 2022. 
that is, I would say, by the end of March 2022. Also, we are members of a Star Alliance. This is a very important feature that many people don't know. A Star Alliance is the biggest network in the world, airlines network in the world, and we are members of a Star Alliance. So there are some important benefits that you need to remember about this. Uh, this allows for more faster and more comfortable transfers. Uh, your clients can earn and redeem miles on any of the Alliance member airlines. And uh, there are important benefits for premier passengers through the Star Alliance network, which includes access to more than a thousand lounges, uh, VIP lounges, priority airport check-in and boarding, among, other, among all others. Uh, we also uh, have interline agreements and co-share agreements uh, with some other airlines. It will be very difficult to mention them all, but in the region, we basically have agreements with Aeromexico, Gold, and Azul. Uh, at the beginning, I also talked about the awards that we have won and that this speak loud of the service that we provide. Uh, we can say that we are leaders in terms of the on-time performance. In 2019, we were awarded or we won the prize as the most punctual airline in the world. And in 2020, we were second. In both occasions, we achieved more than 90% of on-time. Uh, arrivals and this is very very rare and very very important for you to know because our business model is a connectivity we fly always directly to Panama City and connections to all Latin America and all other cities so it's important that your passengers arrive on time and Copa at Copa we do have this uh, we also offer a superior travel experience uh, in 2020 we won uh, the decade of airline excellence award for Latin American region and also we were awarded by kayak as the best airline in all of Latin America in 2020. And most recently in 2021, uh, we won at the Skytrax World Airline Awards. We won the prize as best airline in Central America and the Caribbean. Uh, we have some VIP lounge that uh, belong to Copa Airlines. We call them the Copa Club Lounge. We have uh, six, seven in general. We have Santo Domingo, Guatemala, Bogote, uh, Bogota, pardon, uh, sorry, San Jose, uh, Panama City also. And there are some services that are available at these airports like uh, free Wi-Fi, refreshments, clerics, uh, showers. In the case of the Panama airport, you have the showers, flight information, possibility to print, to fax, uh, some news, etc. I should point out that with uh, the pandemic, some services now are limited, but the VIP lounges they are all open. Uh, an important thing for you to know is that we have a group department in Copra Lines. Uh, groups are 10 passengers or more that travel together for the same days and the same destinations. Uh, we have a special conditions for the groups in terms of the deposit, the final names, uh, the ticketing uh, dates, but the most important feature for you to know about the groups is that we offer one tour conductor every 15 paying passengers. And this is very competitive in the industry because most of the airlines, they offer like 20 paying passengers and then you get one tour conductor or even more. In our case, it's 15 paying passengers. You get one tour conductor, which is really, really good. Uh, in terms of the latest news, uh, we can say that we recently do some changes, did some changes to uh, the fair families that we have. We have uh, an economy basic, economy classic, economy full, economy promo, uh, or executive promo, sorry, and executive full. In the case, for example, that will depend on the, on the, on the needs of the client. For example, if a client needs to travel light and if he doesn't need any flexibility, we recommend purchasing the basic economy, which is the cheapest class available, because they can only travel with a carry-on, which is included, and a personal item, which is included too, but they don't have any luggage to check in, and they don't have any kind of uh, flexibility. But we recommend it. There are some types of clients that prefer to buy this, so it's recommended for them. Uh, in terms of the economy classic, you will have one piece of luggage included. Uh, you don't need much flexibility, but you do need to register one piece of luggage. So in that case, we recommend Economy Classic. For the Economy Full, 
that will give you more flexibility. You need to check bags. If you need more flexibility to change your travel days, for instance, this is the class of service that you recommend that your clients buy. Uh, in terms of the executive promo, you will have pieces of luggage included as well, and you will have a maximum comfort, but you don't need any flexibility. So in this case, the executive promo is a very good option as you will be getting the features that you need, but you will pay a little bit less. And in the case of the executive full, uh, you will have everything. You will have the flexibility, you will have the comfort, you will have the pieces of luggage. So there's a type of traveler for every type of fare. We recommend that you seize your, your, your clients and then you sell the class of service that is more convenient to them. Also, there's something that is very important to mention and it is uh, the flexibility. You know that these are difficult times. Everybody wants flexibility. Clients need to be reassured when they're going to buy a ticket. So at Copper Alliance, we do offer flexibility and we have been offering this flexibility since the beginning of the pandemic, COVID-19. Uh, so for now, what we have is that the tickets that were issued until July 31st, 2021, uh, the change fee is waived. Uh, the fair difference is waived under certain conditions if it is to change uh, for the same region, but if you change destination, of course, there's a fair difference to pay. And in certain high seasons, you need to also pay for the fair difference. And for the refunds for these tickets, if the flights were canceled, were affected by COVID, then the refund is allowed. Otherwise, it is according to fair rules. After uh, July 31st, for the tickets that were issued uh, from August, 30, uh, August the 1st onwards, we have reduced uh, the change fees. For example, for the basic economy, uh, you will pay from 100 to 150 or 100 uh, US and 150 Canadian, depending on the market, depending when you do the change. For the economy classic, we allow the first change to be free. So a client can do a change without paying any, any change fee for this. And then the second change or the third ones will be at 50 or 75. Uh, for the full economy, as this class allows for more flexibility, all the changes that you do will be free. Uh, for the business promo, it will be the same as a classic economy. The first change will be free, and then you get the other ones at 50 or 75. And for the business full, the changes will always be free, regardless of how many changes you do. So this is very important that you know. As clients now, as I said at the beginning, need flexibility, and this policy allows for some flexibility for your clients and some peace of mind for you as travel agents as well. In terms of biosafety, uh, we are committing to providing you with useful information so that you can enjoy your travel experience with us with peace of mind. So before your trip, what we always recommend is that you do the web check-in. In this case, you will stay less at the check-in counters and that you arrive at the airport from three to four hours before departure. So because now it's very complicated with all the procedures, all the papers, all the proof that you need to show before traveling, depending, of course, on the destination that you go. So we do recommend that you arrive at the airport from three to four hours before the departure. At the airport, always make sure to respect the social distancing and always use uh, the alcohol-based gel on all contact points. Normally at the airports, they provide this as well, but we do recommend that you bring your own little bottle. Also at the airport, in terms of Copper Line, uh, we will always be boarding by groups to avoid you know, the agglomeration of passengers together. Uh, we will be boarding from the back to the front of the aircraft, and we will ask you to self-board in order to limit, it, to limit interaction with the staff. Uh, during the flight, it is compulsory to wear a mask all the time, uh, we don't allow for a uh, change of seats on the aircraft. And also you should know that the aircraft disinfection, uh, we do it with uh, hospital grade products that have been approved by, by Boeing. And we do this by using electrostatic sprayers, which are very effective. Also, we use a, an enhanced cabin cleaning procedure, especially for the windows, for the tray tables, for the armrests. Uh, for the seat belt buckles, uh, for the overhead bin handles, and also for the entertainment system. All these areas are touched more frequently by the clients, so we do this uh, deep uh, cleaning process. Okay, uh, and as I said, we are we don't allow to change 
seals. All this with the purpose to protecting our passengers. There's something very important that I would like to share with you, and this is something that is very, very popular, and travel agents and clients in general, they love it. And it's the program that we have that is the Panama Free Stopover. We offer you the possibility to visit two countries or two destinations for the price of only one. So if at the time of booking your trip, uh, you mention or the clients mention to the travel agent that they would like to take the Panama stopover, they won't pay any additional airfare. And this is permitted from 24 hours to seven days. So you can stop in Panama on the way there or on the way back from 24 hours to seven days. Uh, as I said in the second point here, you need to choose your stop on the outbound or inbound flight at no additional cost. Uh, so you need to plan it before buying your ticket. Your ticket is already purchased. There will be a supplement for the stopover. So it is important to mention this to the client in the decision-making process. So they decide before purchasing the ticket because once it is purchased, they need to uh, pay a supplement for this. Whereas if you do it since the beginning or from the beginning, they don't have to pay anything. And you can purchase the stopover program through the, the, the Copper Alliance website, but also through the travel agencies. And uh, this should be clearly indicated that they want a stopover program. So two destinations for the price of one, this is awesome. Something that we are very uh, frequently asked for is the immigration and health requirements. Taking into account that this is so changeable, that it changes, this changes very often, we have a dedicated page in the website where you can find all this information. Uh, the link is on the screen, uh, it's the travel requirements. Uh, basically, you need to choose your trip, if it is one way around trip, and then enter all the other information, uh, the origin, the destination where you are going, and then you click on find requirements, and you will have the information like for example, if a negative te COVID test is required, if there's a mandatory quarantine for the destination that you're traveling to, if you need health insurance, if you need a sworn declaration, if a mandatory first mask is necessary, which are the entry restrictions. So there you will find all the information. We do suggest also that you check with the respective consulates and the authorities of the, of the countries that uh, your clients are traveling, but please know that this is an important resource that we have in Copper Alliance website. It's very easy to access and it has a very good information that you can check for your clients. Uh, some important facts about Copper Alliance that if you need to remember something from this webinar, I recommend remembering or taking a picture of this page that will follow. We connect through Panama Hubs of the Americas in Panama City. Remember Panama City? It's a natural hub. It's a natural connection because of the geographical position. We have excellent connection times for the destinations that we serve. Average one to two hours connection time. In Panama City, you don't have any customs or immigration to pass when you're in transit, okay? Because the baggage will always be checked until the final destination. So in Panama City, the only thing that you will do is change gates. Some people, some travel agents, they some, sometimes they ask, oh, what about 45 minutes connection time, 40 minutes connection time? I always say the same, don't worry about this because your luggage will be checked through until the final destination. The Panama airport is not a big airport, like it can be, I don't know, Tokyo or another airport in the world. This is a small user-friendly airport. So the only thing that you need to do is change gates, which is really, really easy. Uh, we have one of the best on-time performance in the world, the best one in 2019, the second best in 2020, with over 90% of on-time performance, which is excellent for a company of the size of Copper Lines. We offer complimentary onboard service. Still, because of the pandemic, we have reduced this, uh, like most of the airlines or all of the airlines, I would say, but depending on the flight duration, uh, the destination, you will always get something complimentary. Even in economy class, class we are even providing now for some uh, routes, we provide a lunch box. Uh, for some other routes, we provide a snack, depending on the flight duration, of course. And in business class, you always will get the service. Uh, we offer complimentary entertaining and headphones. Headphones, there are some companies that they charge $8, $10 for the headphones. We give this free to the clients. 
We also offer, uh, offer excellent group conditions with one tour conductor every 15 paying packs. And I'd say that the most important feature here, or, or one of the most attractive features here for the clients, is a free stopover program in Panama with published fares that will allow you to stop in Panama from 24 to seven, 24 hours to seven days without paying extra money for the airfare. So for the price of one ticket, you can visit two countries or two destinations with Copa Airlines, and this is unique to our airline. So I'm done for now. Uh, I will be available for questions later on. Uh, thank you very much for your partnership. Thank you for the support. And I really hope that you have learned uh, something about Copper Lines and that, you feel, and that you feel selling Copper Lines to your customers. Uh, our email addresses for Copper Lines for uh, content information, you have my email address and Laura also email address on the screen. So thank you very much for your attention. Great. Thank you, Hadid, for that very comprehensive overview of Copa Airlines. And now let's turn things over to Jimmy here. Hear all about Agencia Global. Thank you, Doug. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, Hadid, thanks for that awesome presentation. I uh, actually learned a lot, <laughs> so <laughs> really appreciate it. Um, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Doug said, I'm Jimmy Stavropoulos. I'm the Director of Sales over at uh, Agencia Global. Thanks for taking the time to attend our webinar. Uh, now that you've taken some time to learn why you should sell Copa Airlines, I'm here to talk to you about why you should use Agencia Global to sell those Copa tickets. So as uh, Doug mentioned on the beginning of the call, uh, Hadid was gracious enough to offer us one free round trip ticket as a raffle price. Uh, there's two conditions basically to qualify for the raffle. We ask that you attend the webinar in its entirety. For those of you who are still on the phone, you're already halfway there on that front. And then finally, that you register for an account on Agencia Global after the webinar. So I'll get into how you can do that. So now you can all see my screen. I'm logged into Agencia. This is your homepage, what you would see when you log in. So you could proceed to booking either a flight or a car rental. Uh, bookings requiring attention would be right over here if you have any saved quotes, anything like for a schedule change, fraud check, anything to that effect. And then down here in our Agencia Global News, um, we'll, we'll make some call outs about promotions that we have with certain partners and we tend to put only exclusive, agency exclusive promotions here. So thanks to the team at Copa Airlines, we did manage to secure an exclusive um, promotion between now and the, and, the, and the end of the year, excuse me. So effective today until December 31st, any Copa Airlines ticket you sell on Agencia Global will qualify for a $25 bonus commission over and above the commission displayed when you're making your booking. So if you've got a group of four people who are looking to fly to South America, then make your extra 100 bucks booking that ticket with Copa and Agencia Global. So you'll note that we say, you know, click on the banners for more information. So we usually put the terms and conditions of those promotions as a pop-up when the banner is clicked on. So when you click there, you'll see basically which ticket it applies to. And it's very simple. If you're an agent in the U.S. booking Copa out of the U.S., that ticket qualifies for $25. There's no restriction on the origin airport, the destination, travel dates, RBDs. Everything is included. If you do have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to us, and I'll explain how you can reach us uh, at the end of the presentation. So let's go ahead and book one of these flights. So we'd click on book flights. You could book yourself either a round trip, a one-way, or a multi-city uh, itinerary. I've selected USD here. You'll see actually we have USD and CAD. This is not just an option for a currency display, but rather a point of sale selector. So if, you're, if you live near the US-Canada border and sometimes you do some cross-border selling, let's say you're located in New York and you're making a booking out of Montreal or you're in Seattle looking to book out of Vancouver, we would encourage you to click on CAD right over here and you would access our point of sale Canada commissions and net fares um, for Canadian origin airports. But for this demo here, we're in the US, so let's keep it to the US. So at this point, you would just enter your origin and destination, as well as your travel dates. So you know what, let's go on a Valentine's Day trip, uh, February 11th to 18th, for example. Agencia is gonna allow you to book up to nine passengers on one PNR. Uh, so this is where you would provide the breakdown of uh, adults, children, infants on lap or on seat. And you could isolate a specific cabin class if you want as well. You could select nonstop flights only, 
or you could disable multi-tickets as well if you'd like. Multi-tickets, basically, if you're shopping for a round-trip fare, Agencia is going to automatically search for two one-way tickets in lieu of that round-trip fare, just in case it happens to be less expensive for you. Regardless of how um, the result uh, appears, or excuse me, re regardless of whether it's a single ticket or two one-way tickets, the results appear in the results page in the same way, so it won't complicate your shopping. If you do want to book a true round-trip fare and avoid those two one-ways, then you would just click on Disable Multi-Tickets right over here. And then finally, you could select some preferred airlines. So as Hadid mentioned, for example, uh, Copa is a Star Alliance member. So by clicking there, you'll select only Star Alliance. Or you could enter the airline code of, of the one you're, you're looking to book with. So if you enter CM, for example, that would give you Copa. But for the demo, let's just go ahead and include all airlines. So at that point, this is where you would just click on search flight. And it's basically going to take anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds as it runs through the GDS and some API connections we've set up to shop the best available fares for that date combination and uh, OD combination. The top of the second page is just there to ensure that you didn't make any mistakes in your uh, search um, in your search requirements. So at the top now, once we get to the results page, you'll see basically the origin, destination, currency selected, packs count, and so on right up here. And the first thing right below that is our carrier matrix. So what we do here is we show uh, all airlines in ascending order from left to right based on lowest available price. The lowest overall price in the matrix will be highlighted in green regardless of number of stops. You'll see here we have direct one stop and two stop. And then the lowest price of each other row will be highlighted in blue right over here. And all best results from all, all three rows are consolidated right here in the front. So you could see, now keep in mind, these prices do seem high because we did run a search for five packs uh, rather than just one. So the prices you, you see here are taxes included for all five passengers. All results are shown right here in the front, but this is just to give you a high level idea of where all airlines stand by number of stops and uh, for the price that they're charging. It doesn't give much more information than that. So where you will see some more detailed information is if you scroll down here to the available flight section. And this is where you'll see, for example, the validating carrier, the fare type, uh, the RBD that you're looking to book, your price per packs. Once you hover over it, it'll give you a breakdown of the base fare and the taxes, your grand total. Uh, if you click the little blue luggage icon right over here, you'll see a little pop, another uh, window pop up, which will redirect you straight to the airline's website, so you could check out their baggage policy. And then when you click on View Flights, you'll get a bunch of itineraries basically in ascending order of price. Now, just to kind of scroll back up here, we were looking, the least expensive direct flight right here is $2,500 with Copa. You may tell yourself, well, hey, we could save maybe about $100 per passenger if we take this itinerary, for example, but then when we click on view flights and look at the itineraries, we see that this is a two-stop itinerary with over five and a half hours connection time on the way out, 16 hours connection time on the way back. So yes, we could save just under $100 per passenger, but we'd be losing basically a day of our lives uh, connecting on different flights. Now, the reason I wanted to show you um, a non-direct itinerary, just as an example, is that you'll notice in these flight times, we actually highlight the connection times between segments. So you'll have anything over four hours highlighted in red, anything under four hours highlighted in green. So let's close that up and head back down to the COPA section right over here. So for this price of $24.99, it allows us to select either of these two outbound flights and these two inbound. From left to right on each side, what are we looking at over here? We have the number of seats remaining. If there's nine or more seats available, GDS displays it as nine. That's why you're seeing nine. You've got your flight number, your RBD, your OD for that segment, departure and arrival times, as well as the flight duration. If you click on the little blue eye right next to that flight duration, you'll get another little pop-up that shows up and we directly pull this information Let's get rid of that. We pull this information directly from the GDS. So if the airline ever updates their fare rules or makes any changes, uh, this is automatically updated. You don't need to wait on someone from Agencia to provide up-to-date information. So all your fare rules could be found by clicking on that little blue eye right over there. Now, when we select our outbound and our inbound flight, you'll notice a little commission calculator kick in. So right now it's gonna tell us how much we stand to make on this ticket. So for those five passengers, it says that we're entitled to $76 of commission. But as mentioned at the beginning of the call, this is a five passenger itinerary, five times 25 is 125. So you would actually stand to make $201 total commission when you factor in that bonus. Um, now, when you select your outbound and your inbound flights, you'll also see that you have a bunch of fair families show up. 
So this is the price for the basic economy. When you hover over each fair family, it'll give you an idea of what's included, what's not included, what's available at a charge, and so on. Now, I'm just gonna close this back up. We see that there's a bunch of different results. Sometimes when you're searching an origin destination pair with a lot of results, let's say something like an LAX Shanghai, for example, you'll get sometimes about 30 different results there. So we allow you to filter your results. So let's say, for example, you wanna get rid of those two stop itineraries. Um, you know, let's say we had a bad experience connecting through, uh, I don't know, Minnesota, for example, we'll get rid of Minnesota, and we're not interested in any multi-airline itineraries. As I mentioned before, we pull out as many results as possible from the GDS, so you'll see the flight duration here uh, ranges anywhere from 13 hours and 15 minutes round trip to 84 hours and 30 minutes, which obviously no one's going to be interested in. So we've got a little slider right here that we could kind of drag down and say, for example, okay, if my passengers are willing to accept the max round trip time of 20 hours, or if we go even lower, let's say 19 and a half hours, whatever the case. Once you apply those filters, you'll see the results kind of filter down, and now we're looking only at fares of one stop or less, not connecting through Minnesota, with a round trip time of 19 and a half hours. Finally, we'll just close the search filters right over here. We also have our flexible day matrix. So when you click on that, we've added and subtracted three days from both the outbound and the inbound date to give you an idea of the lowest available price for those five passengers. Um, if you were to modify either the outbound or the inbound date, when you hover over these corresponding squares, these squares that correspond to, let's say right here, February 9th to 18th, it'll highlight both the row and the column just to make it easier on the eyes for you if you know you're Customers are flexible on the outbound, but not the inbound or vice versa. All these prices are hyperlinked. That's why my mouse has turned into a little finger pointer. So if I were to click on any of these prices right over here, it would rerun the exact same search, uh, same origin destination, same PAX count, but it would modify the dates accordingly. Like if I were to click on this one, for example, it would modify it February 9th to 21st and just shoot you right back to this results page. Now, the, the fare corresponding to the price, uh, to the date range that you selected, the date combination you selected, will always be right here in the middle, highlighted in gray. So that's the 2046 we're looking at. Anything in white is more expensive. Anything in green is less expensive. So here, for example, you've got your one stop of 1750, which I'm going to go out on a limb and assume is a Copa Fair. So if you were to click on this, it would rerun the search for the 12th to the 20th, for example. So let's just get back to that published fare of ours. We'll take the outbound and the inbound. Let's just keep it the basic economy. We see, once again, the commission that we stand to make, that $76 we saw earlier. And once we've selected our itinerary, we're off to the confirmation page. So same process here. It's going to take about 25 to 30 seconds as it confirms seat availability. And then the top of the third page, as was the case at the top of the second page, is going to recap the information you selected on the previous page just to make sure there were no mistakes. So you'll see our outbound segment, inbound segment. Here they are, uh, separated by blue highlighting. Now, right here, you'll also see, as was the case before, the flight number. You'll even have the aircraft, flight duration. If you forgot to click on the little blue luggage icon on the previous page to see the airline's luggage policy, you can still do so here. It's hyperlinked. Now that we've selected the fare, it'll actually show you how many pieces of luggage are included. In this case, as Hadid mentioned earlier, Basic Economy doesn't have um, luggage included. Right below that, you'll have your recap of what's included in that fare family. And then here, well, I'm not going to show you how to fill out forms. This is where you fill out your passenger information. So Agentia has just automatically created a couple of passengers for that. And then finally, we get to our price breakdown section. So as I mentioned earlier, the commission you stand to make on this ticket is $201 rather than 76. The reason you're not seeing 201 is it's something we're working on. Uh, the commission here is based on a percentage. We're adding a fixed amount to it, and our system is not set up to show a total of a percentage and a fixed amount. But rest assured, when we do reconcile commissions, we do add that bonus payment over and above what your commission statement says, uh, says you're owed. So what are we looking at over here? In our price breakdown section, this is where we see the grand total. We see how much we stand to make, and this is where we could add our markups. So I actually chose a published fare rather than a net fare on purpose to show you how you could add markup even to your published fares if you so choose. So here we've got our breakdown per packs, base fare taxes, subtotal, and grand total with the grand totals right here at the bottom. It'll show where the charges on the customer's, uh, um, on the trust customer's credit card are coming from. So in this case, COPA accepts 
credit card for as a form of payment on published fares. So you'd see that one charge from Copa Airlines. Now, let's say, for example, you've arranged for that stopover that Hadid was talking about, or you have connections in Panama and you could arrange for hotel upgrades, you could arrange for shuttle service, uh, meal vouchers, whatever the case may be, but you want to package that all into one global price. We can do that with Agencia. So basically, let's say in this example here, if you wanted to mark up your fare by $150 per passenger, so that's where you would put your $750 right over here. You'll see the base fare, taxes, and subtotal remain unchanged. You've got your markup of $750, a service fee, and then finally the grand total of $3,271. So in that case, when you hover over the little question mark right over here in the agency markup section, you'll see two different allowable markups. You'll see what the airline allows for. In this case, it's a published fare. It goes without saying airlines don't allow for markup on their published fares, but then also the maximum agency markup. So agency is going to allow you to add double the base fare in markup if you so choose. If you feel you can make more money on your ticket, then by all means, go for it. That said, since the airlines don't allow for a markup on their published fares, we have to push that markup onto our merchant account. So that's why you're seeing 77250 rather than the 750 you entered, uh, because there's a 3% service fee added to that, basically just to offset the cost that we incur by using our, our merchant account. So you can just go ahead. Um, you'll notice here pricing strategy, lowest price is selected by default. You can go ahead and book this way if you'd like. What we mean by lowest price here is if you want to mark up your fare by $750, the lowest price you could charge is $3,271.85, but that would show two separate charges on your customer's card. You see your markup now of $750 has been added to your $76 commission for a total of $826 plus the $125 we were talking about earlier. So you would stand to make $950 on this ticket. But you did present this as a package price. So this is where you open the door perhaps to the third degree from a customer once they see two charges on their credit card statement. So Agency allows you to work around that. If you go back to your pricing strategy and click on single charge, you'll see the price go up a bit, maybe to around 33.50. There we go, 33.46. What we do in that case is we force the entirety of the charge onto our merchant account. So now the price went up because that 3% service fee applies to the entirety of the fare rather than that incremental $750 markup that you added. But now instead of getting the third degree over what that extra 700 and some odd dollar charge was if that was money you were putting in your pocket, if that was the hotel upgrade fee and maybe they should have called on their own to upgrade instead of paying you to do it for them and so on. In this case, the only question you might be asked is, hey, you work at ABC Travel, I booked the Copa Airlines fare, but I'm seeing Agencia Global on my credit card statement. You know, what, what's up with that? So that's where you could just simply explain that we're your wholesaler, your consolidator, and we're the ones issuing the tickets for you, which is why that charge shows up. So at this point here, you've managed to uh, you've managed to uh, add that $750 markup all onto one single charge, so you don't divulge how much you marked up the fare by. But we've got five passengers here. Let's say it's five friends, for example, who want to visit Panama. You think you're almost done with your booking. You move on to the payment section, and then lo and behold, all five of them each pull out their respective credit cards and each want to pay their fare. So agents have voiced this concern to us that sometimes they feel they're almost done with the process and now as is the case here they would have to go back and make five different bookings uh, for five people who are traveling together simply because they want to uh, use their own cards so if one person is paying for the entire trip single payment is selected by default you can go ahead and enter the credit card information but you could also select the multiple payment option so at that point you get a drop down menu that allows you to select up to as many credit cards as there are passengers. So let's say everyone wants to use their own card, we'll put five cards. If you go back down to the credit card payment section here, it's grayed out and it tells you you have to assign your passengers to their credit cards. So how would you do that? We have a simple drag and drop system, grab each passenger, assign them to their respective cards. And once they do that, then your payment information section opens up here and you could have card one, for example, let's say that's my card over here. Then you would go to card two. You could put uh, here, Doug, let's go to Panama and let's bring Hadid with us as well. So at that point, as you flip through, you see, for example, that uh, you could uh, enter five different credit cards. All five passengers are going to be booked on one PNR. So in the case of a schedule change, for example, there is there isn't five times the work uh, to be done on the file. Now, just for my demo account, Agencia is uh, set up to recognize only one fake credit card number for the 
purposes of the booking. So let's just go back to single payment, but feel free to mark up your fares as you see fit and put them on one single charge. And you could also use as many credit cards as there are passengers. Very important though, what we don't allow for is fare splitting. So everyone would have to pay the entirety of, the, of their fare on their respective cards. So if they have a thousand dollar fare to pay, they can't put 500 on, of it on card one and 500 of it on card two. Mm -hmm. At that point, once you're done, you simply hit on book and pay. Once again, there's a little bit of a waiting period until you're brought to your confirmation page. That confirmation page will provide you with a nine digit Agencia Global confirmation number and the airline PNR until the tickets are issued. If you have any questions in the meantime, uh, we issue them by email, um, by the way, excuse me. If you have any questions in the meantime, you could reach out to us uh, either by chatting with us right over here or by sending us an email or giving us a call. And don't worry, I will, I will put the uh, contact information on the screen shortly as well. So once you get to that confirmation page, you could even print out an itinerary as well as an invoice. So here we are. Now, obviously, your account wouldn't show that it's a test booking, but here's your confirmation number and the PNR recap of the PAX information. When you click right over here on itinerary and on invoice, they get downloaded as PDFs. So this is what your itinerary looks like. We've even, even included, see how my cursor turns into a little finger here? We've included live links to the airline's check-in information and Visa HQ page if ever they have uh, any doubts uh, regarding whether or not they need um, uh, they need a visa uh, to get go to the country they're traveling to. And at the top here, you'll see Voyage à la carte. Um, that's us. But when you set up your account and enter your agency information, um, your invoices and itineraries will automatically present your in information up here. Uh, by the way, for anyone who has any questions or wants a more in-depth uh, webinar one-on-one -on -one later on, please feel free to take down my email address right over here and reach out to me. Uh, so if you're from ABC Travel, for example, this would say ABC Travel right up here. And then to give you an idea of what the invoice looks like, here we go. Once again, your agency info would be up here. And take note, because we selected, um, because we selected um, single charge, there are no fees showing up on the invoice. So basically, your markup of 150 per pax was pushed onto the base fare onto the invoice. So you wouldn't see any of that of that markup that you added on the customer's invoice either. So that's pretty much what the booking process is like. I know I kind of moved quickly through it because we are limited uh, on time. But if anybody does want a more in-depth uh, presentation to learn more about Agencia, feel free to reach out to me at any time and uh, we could set something up at your convenience. If you like what you saw and you want to register with us, I'm just going to log out here and show you how to do that. Once you visit www.agenciaglobal.com, you'll be brought to our landing page. Just click on register right over here. We ask that you enter your business name and email, some contact information, the name of your master agent, confirm you're not a robot. We do ask for some form of accreditation, any of the ones you see here in the drop-down menu. Once you hit register, your application will head over to us. We'll do our due diligence and your account should be uh, ready to go that same business day. Now, if you do want to contact us, just scroll to the bottom right here, click contact us. We could be reached at 1-844-544-FAIR. For those who didn't have the opportunity to take down my email address earlier, if you do have any more questions for me or do want to set up a one-on-one -on -one webinar, you could also reach out to our team right over here at contact.agenciaglobal.com and they'll reach out to me so, so that we could get in touch and set something up. So on that note, thank you all very much for uh, tuning in. Hope you liked what you saw. Please keep in mind that to qualify for the raffle prize, you do need to set up an account on Agencia. So once again, just head over to www.agenciaglobal.com and hit the register button right over here. Doug, back over to you. All right, Jimmy, thank you very much. Jimmy, you must have been an auctioneer in a previous life with your ability to, to speak so fast and communicate clearly. And that was a lot of information <laughs> in a short amount of time. I have watched my fair share of storage wars. What could I say? Oh, that's it. <laughs> Um, just a reminder that because that is a lot of information, this is being recorded. We'll send you a copy of the recording, but this recording as well as all of our other training sessions are archived on our website, which is jacksfacts.com. And you'll find um, these underneath the advisor resources and then the advisor training tabs. You'll find all our archived training sessions. And we have a lot of questions here, so let's jump right into them. Okay, the first couple here are for Hadid from COPA or Laura, who's ever taking the questions. Um, 
I think you addressed this. Maybe they missed it. Do you charge on check baggage for economy? Uh, actually, we have uh, different economy. Uh, that's the, that depends on the on the fair family. If it is the basic economy, which is alpha, uh, we it's not included. However, the economy flex baggage is included, one piece of luggage. So depending on the fare that you purchase, if it is economy basic, no, it's not included. If it is economy flex, yes, it is included. However, even economy basic, they have a carry-on included and a personal item. Great. Thank you for that. And then a question regarding your stopover program, which they are saying looks amazing. Um, and they're wondering, would you need to select multiple destinations if selecting the free Panama stopover? Uh, you mean on Copa Alliance website? Yes, I believe that's what they're referring to. If it is in the Copa Alliance website, not necessarily. It's two different things, the multiple destinations or the Panama stopover. There's a direct link to the Panama stopover in Copa Alliance website. Okay, great. And I don't know, Jimmy, can that stopover be booked through Agencia? Uh, no. So for okay. that, you would have to go to Copa's website. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, let me see. Jimmy, for you, does Agencia's booking engine provide a way to ignore basic economy? Yes. So once you go to book flights over here, let's just go right there. If you go to booking class right over here, let's say you only want economy. So a great example with Hadid saying that luggage is only included in regular economy and not basic, then you would just hit economy right over here. And when you hit on search, the results page will exclude those basic economy fares. Excellent. Um, another question for you, Jimmy. Does the booking engine allow flexibility in dates? For instance, can you include a red-eye departure after 9 p.m.? with an early morning departures the following day? Absolutely, so when you get to the results page, uh, there's an area where you could filter down your search results. Um, so in, in the demonstration, I removed the two stop itineraries in Minnesota as a connecting airport, but you could actually select as well if you're not interested in a morning flight for the way out or uh, you only want a red eye on the way back, you could select between morning, afternoon, and evening. Okay, perfect. Um, another question, Jimmy, does the booking engine provide the costs of additional baggage and seat assignments? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. So ancillaries was something that we were working on prior to the pandemic. We were actually in a beta testing phase, um, but then good old COVID threw everything out of whack and we haven't gotten there just yet. Sure. So for now, we do have the fair families available that I showed when we were on the results page. So once you select your outbound and your inbound flight, you'll have a bunch of tabs that show up under that itinerary with different prices. And when you hover over those fair families, it'll show which ones, for example, include a seat or which ones include a piece of luggage. Excellent. Um, while I'm looking at a couple of these other questions, somebody's asking if you can put your contact information up again, Jimmy. Absolutely. So let's just go right here, right over here. So you've got our contact email. And rest assured, I know it looks generic, but we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one web webinar requests to this email. They do get forwarded to me and you do hear back from me. So here's our email, our phone number, and you could feel free to chat with us right over here as well. Excellent. Thank you. Um, I did a question. They're saying the pandemic continues to surge with Omicron variant. Are there any new health and safety protocols that they or their clients should be aware of when traveling into uh, Panama and beyond? No, so far we haven't had any kind of notification from the governments of any other, um, I mean, measures being taken. And uh, we continue to apply the biosafety measures that we have been applying since the beginning of the pandemic that I mentioned at the webinar. But so far there are no further uh, measures been uh, applied or put into place uh, by the governments of the region. This is uh, updated every day in our website in the in the link that I provided for uh, requirements, uh, health and um, immigration requirements of the, of the different governments. You can click there and every day this is updated by our marketing team in Panama. That's very helpful. Perfect. Thank you. Um, 
Jimmy, somebody is asking the question, if they're already signed up for Agencia, do they still qualify for the, to be in the raffle for the Copa Airlines ticket? I'm assuming the answer is yes to that. First and foremost, yes. And second of all, thank you for uh, trusting us. <laughs> Definitely, thank you for working with us. Absolutely. Okay. Um, okay, I guess somebody, a question regarding registering with Agencia. They said they own a home-based agency, but the system asks if they are a traditional or independent agent. For a home-based agent, they what would be the proper the... answer? Yeah, they Wait, own a home. They, they they're own... a home-based agent. Yeah, they're a home-based agent. So they're asking when they're signing up with you if they select a traditional or independent agent. Or does in that matter. case, I would say independent. independent no, I, I thought I thought you meant they own the the host agency. But if it's a home agent, uh, then you would just put independent. Great, that's what I would have assumed. Thank you for that. Um, okay, another question regarding registering. If there are a host company and registering, are we putting our company name of the host agency on the registration? Yes, please. Okay, perfect. What I would tell you on in that case is uh, that that's definitely somewhere where perhaps we should arrange a one-on-one -on -one webinar because I could show you how to set yourselves up as master agents on Agencia and then have uh, you could add regular agents under you. So the difference between the access for a master agent versus a regular agent is that the master agent can modify the agency information, can see everyone's quotes, everyone's bookings, and has access to commission statements, whereas a regular agent would only have access to their respective uh, quotes and bookings and would not have access to uh, modifying agency information or viewing uh, global uh, agency commission statements. Okay, perfect, that makes sense. Great, well, it looks like that is all of our questions. That's gonna to conclude today's training session. Actually, this is our final session of the year, so I want to thank everybody for attending this session and our past sessions in 2021. We already have a great lineup set up for 2022, and we'll be sending those invites out early next year, so please, Keep your eye out for that. And Jimmy Hadid, any final words for our audience? Uh, Hadid, Jimmy? I'll I'll leave it to you. Oh, okay, I'll start. Well, I I just want to yeah. say a heartfelt thank you to everyone who took the time to attend. Uh, I know it hasn't been the easiest year for us in the industry, but uh, at Agencia, we're working hard to make sure that whatever bookings are still being made are as profitable as possible for you. Um, this exclusive com uh, promotion that we have with Copa right now with the $25 bonus commission, please take advantage of it. It's on until December 31st. And you'll see that one of my favorite parts of my job is pounding the pavement to secure as many uh, exclusive promotions as possible throughout the year. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, definitely want to make sure that not only do we have one of the best booking tools on the market for you to work with, but that you make as much money as possible when using it. Uh, on that note, uh, happy holidays to all. Hope you enjoy uh, some well-deserved time off with your uh, time off with your loved ones, and uh, expect to hear from me in the new year. Great, thank you, Jimmy. Hadid, any final words? Sure. I would like to take the time to thank everybody for attending the webinar. Uh, thank you also for the organizers of the webinar. Webinar. Uh, I can assure that it's always a pleasure working with Agencia Global. So please don't hesitate to go and register and you will see that this is a very good booking tool uh, and you will profit from it definitely about copper lines we are a solid company uh, i know that many people don't know copper lines but we are a recognized star alliance uh, member uh, the most important thing about copper lines is the uh, service that we offer uh, not only to the passengers directly but also to our agencies in the united states canada and in all the network so please do not hesitate to book Copper Lines, book with confidence, and we will be there for you. Thank you very much, and happy holidays to everybody. Great, thank you Hadid for the presentations, and Jimmy, thank you for all the presentations this year. It's been a pleasure working with you. Look forward to continuing that next year, and for everybody else, we wish you a very happy and healthy holiday season and a prosperous 2022. See you all then. Bye everyone. Thank you, bye-bye.